All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, using expressions within reports. <clears throat> Just about every object within uh, that we create with Report Builder is expressionable. What I've done here is I've created this little expression up in here, just this little today is, and let's go in and take a look at it. So I'm going to go into text box properties, and as you come down here, here's text box one, and if I come down here, you can just see the general information that I've, I've got down here. So again, if I right click in here, sorry, I'm back. <clears throat> I had an expression already in there, so it wasn't going to let me edit. Now, if I go into the text box, if I can get it to select the right thing, Frustrating there. Here we go. I'm going to go in and select expression. Now I'm going to come down here and I've got this value in here and I want to dump that on out because I, if I uh, allowed that in there, the expression actually wouldn't work. I have to start an expression with an equals operator. So if I come in and add my equals operator, which should have been added in there for me, beats me. And I come into common functions and I'll take date and time. And I'm going to just, I just want to add the time the report is run. So I'm going to go down there and add today. And I'm going to close the VB function. And I'll say OK. And now I'm going to edit this. That's what was wrong. And now I'm going to go home and add some text in here. Today is, all right, just so I've got this expression. You notice this expression holder up in here. And let's go through and run it and enter a category and I'm going to take bikes that's fine just so we can see this so now I've got this 829 today is there's my expression working now I've also done an expression down here in this text box and so if I come down here in the text box the expression I want added in here I could have come down here like this and added an expression if we can click it and then come in here and sent, did some kind of an expression within the values of the text box. But I wanted to change the way uh, the text box is formatted. So I came down here into the text box and then over into the properties. And again, if that's closed, now it's open into my text box. And you see down here in the color, I added an expression. Let's take a look at it. Expression. And I add an if statement. If statement, you know, the VBF statement. And by the way, uh, to really uh, get to working with expressions, you need some uh, knowledge of uh, VBA, uh, which uh, you'll pick up pretty darn fast. But this is just a standard if statement. So if the category uh, value 1 coming back across is greater than 2, then I want to display my text in blue. So I'm going to change the color property over to blue, else it's going to be displayed out in red. And you see a set expression for color. That's because I'm down here in color. If I came down there in font, I could do the same thing. If I can select it, oh, wait a minute. Down here in font, I can come in and I can go through and somewhere in there, there's an expression It's driving me insane, so I'm gonna let it go. Actually, I hate this all this formatting stuff. But anyway, so we've got that expression in here. <clears throat> now let's come through and see it actually running. Let me go home. I'm going to run. And you see it's down here and it's in red. And now I'm going to refresh. Pull this on down. And let's go into clothing. And I'll, I'll select view report. And now she switched on over to touring bikes because my value is greater than 2. Again, everything within here is expressionable. As I come on through any of these properties, this is uh, dead because it's already got the expression in it. Later on, when we get into the uh, later modules, we're going to come in and we're going to take a look at uh, charting. And within charting, expressions are really very, very handy because we're going to be able to come through. And depending on a number of variables that we pass in or look at, will change the way the chart is actually displayed. So that works well for charts for any of the visual graphics down here, just as well as it did here for the matrix and for the tabs. I'm sorry, the tabs, the uh, tables. <clears throat> 